He's looking at me. I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. He goes, yeah, you're American. Go right through. <laughs> Yo, son, thank God we wasn't coming back from Mexico. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing another What's the Dumbest Thing an American Has Ever Said to You. This one's part four. Um, the last ones that I've done did pretty well. I enjoyed them. They're really funny. And it's just a nice, uh, fun video to do. So we're going to do another one, guys. Um, as always, the links to the original video will be in the description section down below. This one's by TikTok Reacts right there. I'm going to hit like on it. You guys should probably go over there and do that too. And we're going to jump into it. I'm kind of curious. What is the dumbest thing an American has ever said to you? I already said this before, but I'm going to say it again because some people could be so ignorant and stupid. <laughs> so I went to college in the States and this American asked me where I'm from. So I told him I'm from Korea, but my family resides in the Philippines. And this dude had the audacity to ask me if people in the Philippines eat mangoes and bananas every day and do they live in a hut or a shack. <laughs> and this is exactly what I told him, word by word. And I said, bro. You do know that's fucking racist, right? And the guy's like, how is that racist? And I asked him the same question. And I said, hey, I heard Americans love to shoot people, especially in schools. Is that true? And he's like, that's racist. It's so <laughs> ironic that U.S. have one of the best universities in the world, but some people can be so extremely stupid. Yeah. A lot of people give good content on this, but let me tell you from my experience, I'm a leasing specialist and I do like meet a lot of people. I know everybody gets this question, where you're from, where you're from. Say you're from the America or from the Canada. So I live in Canada. So this white man goes, where you're from? I said, from Canada. And he said, no, like, where you from, from? I said, I'm from, from Canada. <laughs> and then he goes, no, like, you know, my parents are from Portugal, so I am from Portugal. I said, oh, my parents are from Canada. I am from Canada. <laughs> he goes, no, where are you ethnically from? I said, I'm ethnically from Canada. <laughs> Guys, I'm an immigrant. I came here for school. My parents are in India. Like, I don't care. You guys do the same. Watch their faces drop and be like, what is this person saying? Like, do they get the question? Are they dumb? I'm dumb. Say I'm from America. I was born. My parents are born here. Everybody is everybody's from <laughs> Unfortunately, I have way too many of these stories, but I'll pick the worst one. So I used to be a tour guide for the university that I went to. And before we like start the tour and start walking everywhere, I usually say something corny like, I'm gonna be walking up front here, blah blah blah. If any of you guys wanna give me company, it's lonely up here, we can chit chat, whatever. I'll say something like that. So a printer paper person came up to me and was like, Hey, I have a personal question for you. To which I'm excited. Oh, they're coming up to me. Yes, personal question. This is probably about financial aid. It's about women's safety. It's about something like that. I was wrong. This man asked me why I was allowed to be in school and that he assumed I was Indian and why haven't my parents gotten me an arranged marriage and how was I allowed to be in school? Wow. And mind you, he was not quiet. So everyone on the tour heard me and I had to answer in front of everybody. Also in front of students walking by. Oh wow, you speak perfect English. <laughs> That's funny. It's so I'm from the US and I've been living in Spain for five years. A few years ago, a Spanish friend of mine who would teach English sent me a screenshot of a paper that one of her students who was around the age of 16 to 18 wrote. It was comparing diets and it said word for word that people from the US are unhealthy because they eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner in a fast food restaurant. And I know people in the US don't have a healthy diet, but I don't know a single person who does this. In my- I, I've, I've known people that do that, but not necessarily myself. <laughs> my household growing up, my mother would cook dinner every night. Um, we ate at a restaurant, fast food or otherwise, maybe two times per month. I also know how to cook and regularly cook. I'll definitely give you all that people in the U.S. probably eat way more fast food than other places. But yeah. I just don't know anybody that goes there for every single meal every Yeah, that's right. I, I do a lot of cooking, actually. I enjoy cooking food. 
I'm American, but I gotta take this L. So freshman year of college, my friends and I go up to Canada to have a fun weekend, whatever. We're partying, having fun. We don't sleep at all, right? We get to the border. I'm in the backseat, knock, slumped out. Border patrol knocks on the window. He's asking everyone questions. He comes to me, looks at my passport. Sir, what's your nationality? I go, oh, uh, Luis Barbosa. He goes, no, sir, what's your nationality? I go, oh, uh, Haitian, Dominican, or Puerto Rican. Choose whichever one. Everyone <laughs> in the car staring at me like, bro, what are you saying right now? You're about to get us arrested. I'm like, what What am I saying wrong, right? Everyone's looking at me. So the, the Border Patrol tries to dumb it down for me. He goes, sir, where are you from? I go, oh, New York City. He goes, okay, so what's your nationality? <laughs> so now everyone's staring at me, and I'm getting tired. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is that? He's looking at me. I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. He goes... Yeah, you're American. Go right through. Yo, <laughs> son, thank God we wasn't coming back from Mexico. <laughs> Jeez. I think we can all agree that the school system is shit. They don't teach us anything that they need to teach us. We don't, right. we don't know half the shit that we're supposed to. You should, you know, in adulthood, go outside and learn your own shit and research. Google is free. And that's what I'm doing. Um, But... I spent some time in Hawaii. This was pre-quarantine, maybe uh, two years ago, a year ago. But I spent some time in Hawaii. And I had become friends with a lot of people down there. And this guy, um, this white lady, older white lady comes up to him. And she's like, where are you from? Where are you from? And he's like, oh, I'm from here, actually. He asked this lady, and uh, where are you from? And she goes, I'm from the United States of America. Yeah. Y'all, I must have fucking cackled cackled all the way over huh. she proceeds to say to him wow you speak really good english for a hawaiian <laughs> so when i was 16 i did an exchange program in the u.s um from brazil for six months and i remember it was uh, december time and i was telling one of my friends how i had spoken to my parents and they were at the beach because it was really hot and you know summer in brazil at that time and then she looked me straight in the eyes and asked me oh so so is it july in brazil now <laughs> i'm an american that has recently moved to london and i've had multiple american friends ask me what language they speak here in england wow one even asked me if i had to learn french to live here it's in the name english england come on now in england england Part two, here we go. So we're still in Marrakesh. So the American couple have assumed me as their cameraman and we're at the YSL Museum getting some Instagram pics for them. And they're like, hey, do you wanna go and get coffee? So we hail a taxi. I expect we're gonna end up somewhere like this. The Americans basically insist the taxi driver takes him to Starbucks and he has no idea what they're talking about. But they've obviously done their research because they knew the name of the shopping center and where there was basically a brand new Starbucks that had like just opened. So we're at this Starbucks in the middle of Marrakesh and I'm asking them, so are you gonna go to the desert or like, um, are you gonna go up north? Like, what's your plans for this trip? They tell me they have flights in two weeks back to the States from Cape Town, South Africa. I thought they could hitchhike in two weeks from here to here and that would be perfectly normal. I'm kind of like, you know, well, Africa is a big continent and their response was basically that America is a big country. So they're used to hitchhiking in the States. <laughs> Africa ain't the States though. <laughs> Comparing hitchhiking across this country here versus this whole continent here. Yeah. And I guess I'm gonna have to do a part three, so. <laughs> so. Part three, here we go. So, still in Marrakesh. So after Starbucks, they drag me to H&M. Like we're in Morocco and they wanna hang around H&M. I wish I knew the ending, but honestly, um, your guess is as good as mine. They have my Instagram, but they never followed me, so I don't know what became of them. I don't know if they got to Cape Town and made their flight. I would say no. So I do have a theory that they actually weren't going to Cape Town in the first place, and they just made it up for clout. I have this theory because the night before, when they first met me, they'd asked me, is this your first time in Africa? It wasn't the first African country I'd been to, like, I'd been to Kenya, Tanzania, and South Africa before, so I think maybe they wanted to seem like worldlier and they just made up this whole trip and they weren't actually going to Cape Town. Love to know what you guys think and maybe they'll see this on TikTok and I'll find out like what happened. Um, but yeah, your guesses are as good as mine and I'm sorry I can't give you a- Yeah, I would say they, they didn't get to Cape Town. 
Hi. Yeah, fellow American here. Um, and this is still the dumbest thing an American has ever said to me because I'm from Alaska, the 49th state, which somehow gets lost in translation to the 48 other states that came before us who somehow forget that we're a state because then we have people who come up to Alaska and they walk into my tour shop and they're like, hi, where's the currency exchange? Oh, geez. <laughs> Are you planning a trip to Canada? We are like right close to the border. No, no, no. I need Alaskan money. Wow. Are you not from the United States? No, I'm from Kansas. But I need Alaskan money. Ma'am, did you miss the giant American flag <laughs> right outside my... I can see it out my window. There's also one at the post office just across the street. <laughs> it's the same. It's the same money. Stay tuned for part two. I'm assuming we're talking about white Americans here, right? So, story time. <laughs> white Americans. I was partying <laughs> at my friend's house and one of his friends, who's a straight white man, was also there. Um, I don't remember what was the last time I talked to a straight white man, but anyway. So we said hi to each other, I told him my name's Jackie, then he asked me what my middle name was. And I thought to myself, this is not a normal question you would ask someone, especially when you don't know about each other. Right. I guess what he really wanted to know was what I came from and what my legal Chinese name was. Maybe it was, maybe he was trying to see if his name was Chan, because Jackie Chan. So I just told him, I'm from China and people in China don't have a fucking middle name. And he was like, oh, wow, yeah, I didn't yeah. know. But anyway, I am pretty sure if I were a white American, he wouldn't ask me that question in the first place. <laughs> That's awesome, guys. Well, they have more of these. So uh, if you want to see more, let me know. I'm going to do more anyways, though. They're, they're fun. I enjoy them. <laughs> if you got anything... To add to it, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit like, hit subscribe, and have a super fun, awesome day. All right, take care.